warfare and history and, and all of that. I try to add more of that than just play the game and tell you how to play it, but I do that too. So, okay, so we're, we're holding here. We're doing pretty well. They're going to come up and reinforce that. These guys are holding sort of in the back. These guys, these units do, you know, they have some 88, some flat guns. Um, again, 88 flat guns. Uh, useful on the front line, but not terribly. But, you know, if they're somewhat dug in and um, uh, an enemy unit comes up and um, bounces into them. Now, if there's some, you know, really strong armored unit, well... You know that's a problem but just if it's some probing force they can you know do some level of and here too you know that probably should be moved up this unit i know up here is mostly just you know you know you know 11 20 millimeter flat guns these are the oh well they do have eight oh they do have 888s mm, we need to move we need to see about moving those up okay um because those 88s because we have these over here I was thinking these were just more of the 20 mils, or mostly the 20 mils. Let's move these up. Yeah. And... What does that look like? Okay, we got... Well, we could still move that up. Because those 88s can really be... Um, effective uh, against um, armor moving into attack. Good observation. The exhausted troops, however, were um, inferior in number because their reinforcements had been drained to bulk up the left wing um, fortifications and, and assaults where they were supposed to be static and then stripping off two corps to send to the east that arrived when Tannenberg was over. And yes, I love hearing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And mentioning that, um, I love streaming here on Slytherin TV, uh, but I do have my own YouTube channel where I play many um, historical, off mostly military type games and talk about history while doing so. You might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just open up a new window. Don't leave here. And I stream for myself on Twitch on the weekends, uh, mostly on the weekends. Um, so you might want to follow that channel here um, again if you're new. So, um, please do follow that. And I try to give my historical... I call what I, what I do here is historical commentary. Because I'm doing this off of memory. Unless, of course, you know, I'm reading a brief or something like that. Um, so, I'm sure I'm getting things wrong. Um, sometimes I will make a prepared video and have notes and dates and facts and figures in them. Um, but if you really want good good history, read a book, watch a good documentary that, that's all properly detailed up. Uh, I just am sort of commenting on history while playing. Okay, well, we'll give the AI its turn. Um, I oh, we're Ah, uh, well, I'm using a better mic and such than in the past. My early videos, yes, I don't sound so great. Okay, so heavy pre precipitation, meaning lots of rain. It's above zero, but um, so no enemy air, which is useful for us. Okay, we have 90 victory points. We need 80 for minor victory. That's what I'm, I'm going for, minor victory. I'm not going for a... Um, you know, major victory. Okay, so it looks like we're either just identifying more units or there's more units showing up there. Keeping my ambitions down. This time... We're going to add the wasps and the hummels. I think there's some hummels in there. The wasps are 105 millimeter howitzers. 
uh, mounted on Panzer II chassis. And the Hummels, again, I like this because I have the, and these, the Hummels are um, 150 millimeter howitzers, not the infantry guns. And they're mounted uh, some sort of version of the Panzer IV chassis, I believe. Um, so, um, very um, heavy hitting. And this is a, particularly with the Russian guns here, also heavy hitting. I think we're going to fire at these guys just right at what's the way. Just trying to weaken their forces and that did good. Um, I'm sure I had some proper artillery down here to, to also pound on these. These guys are a bit more out in the open here. And no, oh, those are two. Oh, those these guys. You know which one fire. Now for Using up some of my supplies, but I'm weakening the force, keeping that somewhat under control. Yeah, um, no, I think we're going to cancel this because I don't know that we really need the truck columns, but let's go for because we're using it up more supply because we have the command points and then we can do get some more replacements another panther panzer square capture jeep okay so we have that um We're going to see about scraping together some more units once we get a command point here. Keep our forces down or reinforced. To me, to me, and I very well may be mistaken, but this all seems to be going too well. This is, you know, Wilkes Grenadier and Knock Three Pins of Pioneers with a little bit of support. You know, it's not so much, but that's backing up 20 Panthers. So. Yeah, I'm. And I take this to sort of be their main objective. So, um, yeah. Too many more losses here. But they pushed up here. This now somehow got surrounded. I don't know why that would be considered surrounded, but okay. Um, I think they may be getting ready for a push across here, but we have um, two infantry units. They got some Panzer Shrek, mortars. That's about it. Um, here, more mortars, Panzer Skrex, a couple of what are these? Pack, oh, Pack 38s, 50 millimeter guns. They, these are Pack 40s, I believe. Yeah, so those are doing a little better. Um, 
These guys have 88. Now this is where the bridge is. Um, again, we have a lot of armor here. So this is sort of if they try to push in here. So what we're going to do here is... Put artillery here. Okay, that's punishing them. Again, for no losses other than supply consumption. You can see some mortars and some of the 75mm infantry guns are firing there. Now we're going to shoot these guys from back here. And to get a mortar. Let's do the howitzers and the other howitzers and self propel guns on these tank destroyer units. Hopefully, I was hoping for a better effect. Okay, now here they're expecting the possibility of return fire. Um, but I think our, our attacking odds are better. So we're going to stick with that. And we did take out a um, tank destroyer. Probably an um, M10 or M18, not sure. Well, I think we're just going to keep the supply coming. They get more expensive as time goes on. Or as you use them, I should say, would be more appropriate. Air support just isn't going to happen. Um, bringing in reinforcements. Well, and just at 10. Now this will also be at 10, waiting to get 12 to scrape together another unit. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're just going to let this go. Oh, that's uh, what you're seeing is when they're getting fired is our, our, some of our units are taking opportunity fire. Okay, so this force looked like it was smaller and bumped into these guys here. Um, yeah, so one of our units is seeing them move around in the open is putting fire on them. Is likely what's happening there. Um, I'm not tracking exactly what's happening. But you can see here we still have 90, which points okay. And just if you don't know, um, so I want to point out features of this game. Every day is made up of three turns or four turns. Three of them are daylight turns, one is night. Obviously, well, depends on the time of the year, but we can say generally speaking, you know, half half of every day is in light and half in darkness. But really effectively um, trying to move anything around, units around at night just becomes that much more difficult to do, to achieve. So I totally agree with the idea of just having one night turn, which just represents the confusion of what trying to do anything whether it's an attack or um you know just freaking driving down the road especially when you don't want to have too many lights showing okay now we have this unit here that came in and bumped into into here now i wish i really sort of had some artillery um to sort of prep it but what i think we're going to do is okay 26 to 1 yeah i think and sometimes adding more forces doesn't necessarily always improve things. So they're holding. 
they're retreating now. They've retreated to there. But this gives this unit here, and do we want to move this? Yeah, since we've already attacked them once, we're going to do this here. And we took a lot more casualties than I expected. We did lose two tanks. Um, they held, but okay, I guess it's, they also had some other forces there that I bumped into myself. See, because this was a night turn, I did not know that that, that unit was there, and that is why I lost two tanks. Um, not the worst, but not the best outcome. Um, I would not have done it if I had realized there was that other unit there. Ah, posture check. Well, I'm sitting pretty good in the chair. Thank you, though. Okay, so we have that done. We're going to put artillery. Let's... Focus this artillery. No, oh, return fire expected. These guys, that X. Guns there. Orders. Try to give him an uncomfortable night. Both of the gun positions on there. Okay, and I I expect things not to maybe go so well. Okay, big cost for this supply, but we've been doing a lot of fuel and supply sources, um, a lot of artillery and whatnot, and I think we just got it to use it. So let's let's keep the supply flowing. I've not been using a lot of fuel, so I think I'm good there. Just to sort of keep some flexibility with my points that we've used up a lot. Um, but I do think we can now come here. Yes, we're going to do this. We're going to scrap together. Okay. Oh, two. And see, with the cards is... Um, I'm going to go to unit look here. Um, might be, because that's the command... Um, might just be one unit, might be two, it can vary. Yeah, um, we'll get these guys coming up here. Officers, straight together units, let's see what we, okay, two units also. Um, we didn't get any of the, the panzers that have been showing up. Oh, well, there we can see the jeeps. Capture Jeeps. Okay. Um, well, no, I think these units will bring one down this way to help fill in over here. Just this is looking to be where the offensive is um, gearing up towards as well as possibly down here. Um, So, um, no, these aren't quite what we would call, in my opinion, a conf group. Um, I hadn't heard the, the term. I sort of looked it up, um, and there's a little debate on the forum about how correctly Nazi troopin should be um used or not, but Volksgrenadiers by this point just mean infantry. These are guys with, with 98Ks, you know, um, K98Ks, you know, the standard German rifles. Um, the, they're sort of like support troops or something. Pioneers are obviously uh, um, are engineering types. I don't really, okay, some staff, so they'd be sending some staff officers. Panzer script. Um, anything theoretically can be a conf group A, so long as it isn't just 
a standardized unit, a company, a battalion, you know. Um, so a confgroupe would normally be um, a company of this, a company of that, uh, and a um, you know a platoon of of this, you know, like a um, flak guns or whatever, and take several organized units and put together and made these uh, sort of that. But we're bringing um, stuff troops out from rear areas and sort of shoving them forward so yes and hey hello thanks for the raid thank you so much for the raid do appreciate it someone here that's really appreciated a big jump wow 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 you know they're you know they're rear area stuff hello wrong wash warboard how are you doing greetings from su oh sub brief oh yes i know the um the channel um yes on youtube uh i do watch the i do watch um sub briefs um uh, i like his analysis of um things naval um i know he was a former submariner so thanks everyone and so if you're new here of course please hit the follow button and also um let everyone know about slithering tv that i I am almost done, but there's a guy coming in after me here shortly. But follow the channel. You can earn free games from Matrix and Slytherine. You earn Slits for watching the channel. You, uh, and when you get enough of them, you can redeem them for free games. You can scroll down on your screen to um, see what uh, how it all works. There is a links to that and what games are available. So do follow the channel. Um, and come back and watch us more often. You just have to have have it open and watching to to earn this list, so you can get um, free games from from Matrix and Slytherin, is of who, of course, um, <laughs> is the channel that Slytherin TV is for. Um, and since we do have some new people here, I will. Um, I'm Gamer1745 streaming for Slytherin TV, but I do have my own Twitch channel which I stream for myself on most of the weekends and and thank you for the follows do appreciate it and I do YouTube as well videos of playing games and talking about history and all of that while playing yes original twitch so yeah um, got a few more minutes before my time is up and we will try to make good use of it here and there will be a streamer um, coming up right after me, so don't go away even when I go off here as we keep this up. Okay, we will give the enemy their turn at night operations. So thanks everyone for following here on Slithering TV. Many great stream streamers playing many great games. Okay, we're still at 90 victory points. We've lost a few more units, partially from that one attack. We're still in the um, minor victory territory, which is where I'm trying to be. Okay, so now we have a push over here. Somewhat prepared for it. Um, setting that up. Um, looks like they're pushing here. Again, I'm gonna stay on the defensive. But we're going to continue to use our artillery here. Time, because we're doing reasonably well over there. Okay, we're just ooh, they're not dug in, and we're hitting some units on the well, maybe not on the move, but. Hitting them hard. The tanks, we very well might be able to take out some, but I'm not counting on that. And figure if I can weaken some of these other units, it would be a worthy thing to do.
spoons and some trucks. Now, um, we have some 88s there. We don't there, so we're going to move these guys down here. Okay, they got some fire here, which stopped their movement from these units over here. And this can happen. So we have a rather detailed game here. Uh, I wish I had some artillery down here in the south, but we do have these units here, so we're going to move... One down this way. These are sort of scraped up from the rear. Again, we're seeing a lot more pushes here. And I was sort of expecting these hammer blows to come. I didn't want to fool myself into thinking that just by pushing deeper and harder, we were going to, shall we say, get somewhere with it. It's there. So, um, I think we're going to continue to go with some placements coming in. Okay, another Panther, not troop in Panzer Scrack. Oh, a Panzer for L48. All right, so we get some replacements coming in to help our units. They'll feed into the various forces here. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm staying on the defensive, but if you guys want to see what the Allies are going to do to me, you're going to have to come back next time, though I'm not sure when I will be back with more decisive campaign um, Ardennes Offensive. I will be back next week with Valor and Victory playing the um, Stalingrad um, DLC, and I may also be doing some um, Order of Battle. So I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. I do appreciate